Okay, welcome to another episode of Ham Radio On The Go. And in today's video, we're going to do a quick review on a QRP portable tiny antenna, an on-air test. Join us. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Now, today's video is going to be a quick review and on-air test of a very small portable QRP antenna system. Um, these have been uh, sold in the past uh, under different names, Magic Antenna, uh, but they're all coming out of China. Uh, they're available at different uh, retail uh, online outlets in the U.S. and, and uh, China. You can pick it up uh, uh, for um, a range of about $38 to about $60. Uh, Walmart had it at $59.99. Uh, AliExpress at $38.99 and Banggood USA had it at $47.99. Uh, so we're going to do a quick, uh, quick look review and on-air test and see if we can get it to work. This one in particular is uh, marketed as Guzizu out of China and there it is. Uh, basically it's a telescopic whip with a built-in mini tuner uh, that all gets attached to the back of your QRP radio. It's uh, rated for 30 watts. It's uh, marketed as a shortwave HF ham antenna. Uh, good from 5 megahertz to 55 megahertz. Full band tune antenna is what they're saying. You'll be able to tune anywhere from 5 megahertz to 55 megahertz. We're going to see if we can do that. Uh, it's marketed for all QRP radios. It's got a PL259 there. So it's good for the 817, the 818, the 703 by ICOM, the 705, uh, the K1, the K2, and the USDX, and all the other um, radios that are coming out of China QRP. It's a PL259, but you could uh, get an attachment for uh, a BNC. There's more of a traditional tuner by MFJ that I have. It's a, a travel uh, QRP. Uh, this one is a fraction of the size. Uh, attaches uh, to the back of your radio. I'm trying to do that one-handed, not so easy. <laughs> but uh, you, uh, it comes with an L bracket, uh, goes into the back, makes an L turn, and you can screw the uh, the base. Comes in two pieces, uh, the uh, tuner there, and then uh, on top you'll see in a minute. Uh, on top will go the. Uh, the whip antenna that you can extend and that's one of the ways that you can tune different frequencies by adjusting the whip and then adjusting the uh, tuner there you have uh, two dials uh, to uh, tune it so we got the 817 and we're going to go on air and give it a test first we're going to continue to uh, put this together this is great for travel throw it in your bag with your 817 and you got yourself an antenna I'm going to do a, a combination of grounding and uh, counterpoise with some speaker wire. It's recommended that you throw a counterpoise on the ground. There's the 817 fired up, ready to go. So let's see if we can get some on-air tests with this uh, super tiny QRP antenna. Okay, Corvette, KF2JQ, calling 6220, a box for please. Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet Romeo, Quebec, QRP portable. Okay, as you could see there, I have the 817 set to uh, SWR, very low SWR, and we're picking up a station uh, with a good receive. So, so far, so good. This is Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet Romeo, Quebec, QRP Portable. Nope. Okay, that's Kilo uh, Foxtrot 2, Golf, Quebec, uh, coming out of uh, Florida. Strong signal uh, receive on the uh, antenna. Okay, let's switch to uh, 17 meters, see if we have any luck there. Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet Romeo, Quebec, QRP Portable. Tango India 2, Sugar, 
Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet Romeo Quebec, QRP Portable. Okay, that's uh, Tango India 2, Sierra Delta coming out of Costa Rica. Uh, went uh, QRT, unfortunately. Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet Romeo Quebec, QRP Portable. Back on uh, 20 meters trying to work KF2 GQ. This now, if you notice, Charlie both uh, 17 Juliet, and 20 Romeo meters, we were QRP able to portable. load up uh, low SWRs and great, uh, great receive on those two bands. Victor, Papa, Romeo, is that Roger? Close. Okay, once again, a little size comparison to show how small uh, that tuner, uh, that tuner is compared to a already small MFJ travel tuner. Okay, there's a good look at the uh, telescopic whip, fully extended. Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet Romeo Quebec, QRP Portable. Mike Yankee, the Mike Yankee, the Mike Yankee station always, so let's call it. Okay, at this point, uh, we're able to receive the stations, we're able to get a low SWR, uh, but we're not making that final, uh, that final uh, contact, we're not making the QSO. Uh, so I'm going to start uh, to uh, try to adjust the counterpoise and grounding. There's, uh, there's the speaker wire I spoke of earlier, and uh, the, uh, the telescopic whip, you can attach the counterpoise to a little, uh, little uh, bracket, and uh, let's get back on the air. This is Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet Romeo Quebec, QRP Portable, over. Okay, as you can see, we got the signal up to an S5, so uh, we definitely got a little bit of an improvement there on receive. Okay, a quick demo how to tune in a signal. Kilo Charlie 2, Juliet Romeo Quebec, QRP Portable. 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 Okay, you can hear my frustration there at the end. Uh, almost made the contact uh, after uh, lots of tries. Uh, 
but I, I consider it a partial success. I just think I need to uh, adjust the uh, counterpoise and ground. Uh, but we were able to hear the stations, and as they say, if you can't uh, hear them, you can't work them. So we heard them. We got the SWR uh, very low on uh, 17 and 20. We are able to tune up 15, 17, 20, and 40 meters. Um, the uh, product uh, does work. I think it's just uh, 5 watts uh, pileups and, uh, and um, potential grounding and counterpoise not being the right length. I think that's what did me in, but uh, it was still a success in my mind. We were able to tune the stations. We got the SWRs uh, down, and we were able to uh, hear lots of stations on the air. And I think for... Uh, for uh, anywhere between uh, 39 to $60, great little travel antenna. Um, I did read that it says uh, it picks up aviation band, uh, but that's 118 to 136 megahertz, and, and then on the top it says this is for 5 megahertz to 55 megahertz, so a little bit confusing there. But overall, a decent antenna for the price. Throw it in your bag, travel around. I'm going to keep trying to make contacts. Comment below. Like and subscribe for future videos of Ham Radio on the go. Don't forget, check the description for additional content. 7-3, everyone. Thanks for watching.